It is Lady Jazz, and I wanted to talk today on part, um, this is actually part three, part two, I, I, I upload, I did not upload it, but I did do it. I just have not uploaded it yet, and I'm not sure that I'm going to. I'm having a little bit of trouble um, editing it so that it makes sense and it doesn't sound like I'm preaching. But um, anyway, this is part three, <laughs> which is, um, are we really ready for retirement? And this is, this kind of touched me because I am in that space where I am seriously considering it, but it not so much retiring from working entirely, but just from my present position, present employer, present state. So this may not even apply to a lot of you. Some of you are already retired. Um, maybe not voluntarily, but we are at home and don't work. Um, it's one of the biggest changes that um, you make to your life, really. And um, we, I, I have to think through all the small and all the large and how is this going to affect me. And um, I just wanted to share with you guys in case there's someone else out there that is in the same um, space that I am. Um, thinking about getting out of corporate America, wondering um, if what we have already saved and our social security and whatever else money we have set aside is going to be enough to manage not going out into the working world anymore. And do we really want to do that? Um, so what do we do next? We, we spend our entire life, adult life, working, but we need to move into the next chapter of our lives, right? So, I don't know that for me it will make that big a difference because I'm not a big socializer. I mean, I'm not um, at the after hour parties and um, and all that I, I don't I spend most of my time at lunch by myself um, though I'm not saying I don't have co-workers that I see outside of work it's just that I'm not a big socializer so it's is that going to be a big thing for me when I'm no longer working so that's something to think about we know that once you save a, re a reasonable amount of money, we want to be able to enjoy it, be able to do the things that we couldn't do because we were too busy working. So have, we have to think about when you retire. We know coworkers that leave our leave to go to a different position in a different company, they always say, oh, we're gonna keep in touch, you know, let's let's keep in touch, but you, they keep in touch for about a month or two, and then they slowly fade out of our lives. So don't fool yourself thinking that once you leave a job that your coworkers are going to keep in touch with you. If those are the only uh, people that you have in your life, when you leave your job, you actually leave them behind or they leave you behind, whichever way you want to look at it. So you have to have a social network outside of the people that you work with in order to enjoy your retirement because those people are not going to keep in touch with you. No matter how much they want to or say they want to, they don't do it. It doesn't happen. So we need to plan for that. You need to know that you need to build new friendships with people that are in like position with you, people that are still at home, you know, and um, they don't have to go out into the working world. They're home, you're home, or um, you need to go out and, and volunteer and, and meet new people and start a new social network within your retirement, your same lifestyle. 
um, people that work feel that people that don't, <laughs> don't um, have a concept of time. And it's not, not necessarily true, it's just that we are not in a, uh, when you're not working, you're not in a, what time is it, you know, I have to be here, I have to be there. It, it's, it's leisure, that's what retirement is. It's, it's not rushing, it's taking time to smell the roses, taking time to enjoy your family, enjoy your grandkids, and have lunch with a friend, but it can't be a friend that is working because you're not having your, your own. But it's just a different dynamics. You're just not at the same place in life. Know what your living expenses are before you make the choice to retire. Are you really going to be able to live on the money of your retirement rather than what you bring home in a paycheck? So you need to start cutting back. You need to, here's my rationale. I won't have to purchase a lot of work-related clothing because I'm at home. But do we really stop shopping? Do we really stop going places? No. So you have to make sure that everything that you think is going to happen, you have the funds to cover it. How are you going to spend your day? After working, spending so much of our lives going to work, driving, driving to work, driving from work, being at work. The hours that you have to fill comes up to about 2,000 working hours a year that you have to fill now because you don't have a job to go to anymore. How are you going to fill that time? So you need to plan that out, at least for your first year, of how you're going to not get bored not get lonely. Um, you can only clean and organize for so long. And then what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So you have to plan these things before you decide that retirement is for you. Where do you want to live? Can you really afford to retire? Do you want, do you need to downsize in the home that you're in to something smaller? Do you want the smaller home to be in the place you're at now? Do you want to move to another state that maybe is more retiree, more retiree friendly? Um, do you want to uproot your family? Do you want to wait be with your grandkids and your and your children, or do you want to be where they have to come see you? There's so much to consider. I have been giving this so much thought because. There are days when I just, oh, I can't wait to retire. And then there are days that I truly enjoy being out and about. I, in fact, I know that I am not ready to just sit at home and do nothing, so to speak, but I don't want to do corporate America anymore. I need to get out of corporate America. I need a job that I'm more, um, that still uses my brain power, but isn't something that I want to come home every evening and have to bring myself down in order to get rid of the stress from my job. So for me, that means I need to get out of what I'm doing now. I, maybe it's just a change that I need. Maybe it's um, being away from my family, but I know I need to get out of corporate America. So that is my goal. And as fast as I want it to happen, I'm still to the point where I consider everything and then I consider it everything again. And then I do it again because I don't want to make a move and make changes in my life that I will regret a month, two months down the road. So yes, I think about everything very carefully and um, just questions you just really need to ask before you decide to actually retire. Um, know what you're going to do next. 
Know that the phone is going to stop ringing from co-workers. Know that your living expenses will change. Plan how you're going to fill your days. Um, where do you want to live? And can you, the biggest question of all, can you really afford to retire? It's, these are the things I'm thinking about and I just wanted to share them with you. Um, in the event that you are looking at 2015 to be the year that you make your move out of corporate America. Please take the time to think about these things. Make sure that you have your plan pretty much in, in, uh, in order. Make sure that um, you're not a social butterfly that will miss being around the people you work with miss the interaction of getting up and going to work every day. Make sure that you know how you're going to fill your hours. Um, it's important. It's important. We don't want to work every single day of our lives until we be, we need to be able to enjoy our lives without the bustle of working. I don't know about you guys, but I've been working since I was 15. And I'm ready for a change in the way that I am making a living. I'm ready for a change as to how many hours I give to a corporation. I am ready for a change. Are you? Think about it make your plans, prepare, and execute. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you guys in my next video. Love you all. Bye.